day everyone. Today we're driving on a road that leads to Long Pond Road. After I got a report yesterday that there's a culvert with a small sinkhole in the middle of the road. The road's open today, meaning they must have done a quick repair or it wasn't that bad. Usually the gates would be shut if something was wrong. That means they repaired it in like a day or it was not that bad. And afterwards we're going to take a ride to Long Pond to look at the dam. We've been there a few times. That road was actually closed for like three years a while back because it wasn't prioritized. This right here is a road that connects two towns. Not many people use it. But it's far more prioritized than that road after it was washed out after a giant spring thaw a few years back. But we'll be there soon. Okay, we're pulling up where the sinkhole was. Looks to be repaired, but we're gonna get out to see how they repaired it. Here it is. Just a little patch in the road. Just wanna get out and look at this culvert pipe. I'm gonna pull over. Today's September 23rd, 2021. Okay, I just spent a few minutes inspecting this. And this is a temporary fix. They just did this to get the pothole out of the street. This thing is completely crushed and it's going to clog. I'm going to show you what's wrong with it in the ends. So right here, like I mentioned, we're next to Long Pond. And there's the dam that we visited a few times. See it over there? See it from the road. The dam. And the other side of the structure, the area in the middle is where it's spilling. We'll be over there to take a look at that shortly. But back to the road. This thing collapsed very recently, probably some heavy truck, but actually not a heavy truck, and I'm gonna show you why when we look inside. First of all, culvert's not in deep enough, most likely because of bedrock or just pure laziness. And why I think it might be laziness, before the road was built here, this was a hill, what they do is they build a shelf here. What they tear from here, they move here, and that's how they build a road. Anyways, it's not deep enough, especially here. It's only a few inches deep. This thing, because the bedrock, this thing they could have put at a bigger angle. And over there, it's unacceptable how it's put in. Let's just look. Got a small amount of blockage on it, and that's what's going to cause a problem. Because you see down here, it's almost completely crushed. You see that? It's only open a few inches. That can easily be clogged. That crush is not the end of the pipe. This was not done by an idiot with an excavator. It was done by a crew who didn't put it in properly. Well, I guess it could still be an idiot with an excavator, but let's go look. You can see there's lots of tracks here from the workers coming down to look at it, and I'm sure they also determined it needs to be replaced before winter, because if it's not, the spring thaw needs a police to get across the road. It'll wash it out if it doesn't have this culvert. So looking in this side, you can see how badly damaged it really is. I'm gonna get her light, it'll be better. Alrighty everyone, I just got my inspection light and boy, what a difference, look at that. Big pile of dirt. See how it's crushed? Now that could be crushed because the joints weren't put together correctly and making that the weakest possible spot because you need a good coupling. It's nice and strong because the ends are the weakest parts of the pipe. But I think it's a combination of just being not installed deep enough. And look at that, it's really fresh material. One big truck just went over this and absolutely crushed it. And also, you might not be able to tell on the camera, the second piece here, towards the end, has a really steep angle. But the part on the other end is almost flat. So there's like a small kink there, and that means the coupling wouldn't fit perfectly around it either. But it's ultimately not being deep enough, and this is going to need to be replaced. Because you see the top of it there is all crinkled, reducing its capacity, and a clog can easily form against that dam in there. But also, the dam could just as easily erode out of the way, opening most of the capacity of the pipe back up. It's uncertain what would happen. Looking at it from this side, I think that could easily erode out of the way. But it's got to be replaced. Definitely needs to be replaced before the spring thaw. 
because there's an opening there on the left and right, definitely a big crack where the soil's able to get in. And if you have water rushing by that, it's gonna keep digging and digging, gonna make another sinkhole. This is just temporary so they didn't have to shut the road down. And this is such a simple fix, I don't see why they would not wanna fix this especially in New Hampshire where they have an abundance of infrastructure money. This is not responsibility of the DOT. It would be the parks department on this road. And there's also a stack of culverts at the end of the road for when they go bad. So I see no reason why they wouldn't do this. Guy with an excavator could put this in in just a couple hours. Hopefully they dig it deeper this time. But deeper is not always the best option. Let me explain why. If you put this thing too deep, it would also attract so much more dirt into it. Steep angle would definitely help with that. But like I always say, metal is the better option. Because at least it has more structural strength. You can get away with putting those things in shallow. Or more shallow than these. And I also hate plastic. It's so bad for the environment because they don't recycle them. They just leave them somewhere in the woods, logging companies. They rarely recycle them. But at least when you see big piles of rusted culverts, you know eventually that's going to rust back into the environment without a big impact of microplastic and other garbage. Anyways, let's go take a walk down to the dam. That'll be interesting. Haven't been up here in a few weeks. Fall colors are really starting already in upstate New Hampshire for the fall foliage. It's only middle of September. There's already a few colorful trees. Massachusetts doesn't have anything yet. Not normally until the end of October or November. Maybe we got to take a trip up to Maine in one of these few weeks. It'll be really nice colors. Very windy once you get down here to the water. Very windy. Couldn't feel this up in the woods because we're next to a big open space. And here's the dam we were able to look at from the road. I know you can't see the road, but maybe I'll see the open. Yeah, I can see the opening. Look at it. That's where the road is, right up there. Can't see the road because of the bushes next to it, but that's where we were just looking down a few moments ago. But this is so cool today. The water is still extremely low because it hasn't been raining out, but the only reason the stream is flowing so fast is because the wind is forcing waves over it. If the waves weren't here, this thing would be barely topping. Like when we were here a few weeks ago, there was barely anything going over it. If the wind stops, this is basically going to dry up once again. That's pretty cool. I want to get down here with it. That is really cool. Let's go check it out. Love this brand new dam. But the only thing I pointed out in the original video I made of it was one thing that isn't too good is you see along the dam where it, these little holes and stuff, you can see it splashing over. Eventually that's going to cause erosion, but it's going to cut it's going to take decades. You got to keep that in mind. Nothing anytime soon, but this is so cool seeing the little waves going over it. Okay, look in the pipe. We still got the big inspection camera light. There we go. Never looked in here before. Oh, you can see the gate down there. There it is. Real nice and cool. Pretty nice. Lay it off. Take a look at it. You can see the look at that, the waves going over it. Boom, boom. You can barely feel the wind down here. Nice. Now this they didn't replace. They determined this wall must have been fine. Didn't replace it.
I can't believe how enjoyable this is watching these little waves go over this. Actually enjoying this. How does that feel against my hand when a wave goes over it? Oh, you can see how it picks up? Oh, a big wave. Boom, 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 boom. That feels so good. Nice slippery dam. Look at all that slime. Oh, we also have some big waves. Love the feeling of that. Oh, and the sun's coming out now. Nice. Love looking around in this riprap rock. Can often find little salamanders and frogs all over the place. But it's getting late in the year. Next week, it might be a frost up here actually. It says it's going to be in the lower 30s. Nice pretty dam. The wind's actually calming down at the moment. So this is going to clear up real fast. Not exactly sure why they did this. On this side of the dam, you see how the walkway is over there? Walkway is over here. And then they continue the walkway here. Is, could this possibly mean they might actually put a bridge here in the future? Why would they continue the trail over here? And there's also some flags right here. Could they possibly be planning some kind of nature trail? It looks like there's already some kind of trail here from fishermen, but it's very faint. And look at, look at this. Look at all that beaver chew marks. This tree is still alive. You can see right here by the healing. I'd say mm, the tree's a little sick too, so it may be growing slower. That's maybe five years or so of growth. But then again, look how rotten it is where the beavers chewed. It could be 15 years if it's really sick and growing slow. And look at the mushrooms in there. Really nice. Look at a hill over there, it's starting to turn nice and orange for the fall foliage. Yeah, the waves are calming down a lot. Be nice to come here during a windstorm. That would be cool. Better bring a chainsaw though. Because that road, you're going to get trapped on it. A lot of trees fall on that road during a storm. One time there was a blowdown. The park service didn't bother cleaning it up for three weeks. A blowdown's when they all go down like dominoes. And you got like dozens of them across the street. You can see a definite trail here. A lot of people come over here. It's not that bad. If I wasn't holding a camera, I could easily jump over this. Oh, that looks nice with the sun. The sun just came out. It's got like a perfect angle too. Oh. Sun's blocked by a giant cloud. It's gonna be gone for a little while. Let's get up nice and close. Ooh. The wind stopped. Fun. I think the fun's almost over. This is kind of cool. Little nubs. Yeah, this dam is slightly crooked. This side leaks when that side's dried up. Oh, here come some big waves. 
nice and pretty. Ooh, those are some big ones. Take a look at how many fish there are here. Gonna throw a handful of that feed and I just bought in for a quarter. Oh, they're coming. Come on, fish. Oh, there they go. Here they come to get the food. Look at the fish go. Woo! Pretty cool. Some of the stuff I threw in, I think it's a little bit too close for the fish to be comfortable. It's getting a little dark out. This would be perfect on a calm night. It's a little windy and there's a few raindrops, but this would be awesome to come out here with bright lights, which attract the fish and feed them then. Be pretty cool. Thanks for watching.